Hello and welcome to Free World Investing. Today we're going to be going over the Commodity Channel Index. Now you don't actually have to trade with commodities to use this. It really works on just about any options trading. Now the Commodity Channel Index is actually a momentum indicator. So it gives you the values of uh, the momentum and pretty much it's the relation of the buying power versus the selling power within a time frame. Now this is it's, it's very similar to RSI except RSI uses the average gains minus average losses and this uses a simple moving average of the typical movements which is an average of the high, low and close and they do that on a time frame of the average time frame is 20 so it's in relation to that with a mean offset of 0 0.015 deviation now what that really means is it creates overbought and oversold levels and this is actually more reactive than um, the RSI so we'll compare it to the RSI for you it has more uh, buy and sell, sell orders than the RSI the RSI uh, normally has bigger movement only the bigger movements compared to the CCI but of course just like any other indicator the indicator can be wrong at times but if you notice, uh, even 14 looks very similar. But when we switch it over to uh, 20, it's even more similar, which we're going to do right now. Because the momentum is very similar, it's just uh, it has a little bit more impact on the CCI. So you can see in this ranging market, we got hit right here for a down. And you know, we stayed pretty solid there until right about you know here and then that would have been the sell signal but if you've been using it with the uh, normal RSI which a lot of people do you know you could have waited till down here and actually caught the full full amount or at least close to it if you would have sold out before it hit the actual overbought so oversold level the overbought and oversold level for the CCI is 100 and negative 100 and you know a lot of times like I said you get a lot more trades right here like see right here on the RSI it hadn't even broken past 40 yet and right here it's at the overbought or so that were right here we would have caught a slight up move if you would have got out of it but there's just different ones you could see on CCI that you won't see on the other ones like this was a good one right here if you would have got it right there that would have been a huge drop, very good gain. Uh, this is on the daily charts, and that would have been, um, you know, 225 pip gain. So, I mean, it's definitely not an uh, indicator to sleep on. You know, right here we got it as well, and like I said, if you use it in conjunction with the RSI you could have got even way more so this is one of those indicators you want to use with other indicators as well I mean you don't have to but because of its volatility sometimes it doesn't get all the moves and it sometimes misses good exit points and sometimes you want to hold on to some of the trades a little bit too long on the CCI so remember that's just about with any indicator though you want to use them in conjunction with other indicators and just understand what's going on relatively anyways and you can also use trend lines sometimes with this as well and it's very helpful but that's pretty much the CCI in a nutshell uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and a like I mean uh, and subscribe you all have a great day bye